So we've been here, yeah, we've come here. This time we're gonna fire his arm in, but he starts to tilt his head down a little bit so I can't quite get there. So I'm gonna go all the way through, yeah? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift back a bit and pull his arm forward. So now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna transfer this arm to this arm. So I let go of that and I go here, like this, okay? Then the same leg, this one, I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop. That one, squeeze. And then walk around. And drop the other arm. Squeeze. Drop. You don't necessarily have to dip the head. You might just get into this position like that. You just pull forward a little bit, it's just a little bit easier to get to where I want to be. Switch the arm. I want to try and put my ear to his body, and then I'm going to drop my leg. And as I drop my leg, roll. So this means he's not going, he's not rolling over my head. Now the pressure is the same all the way here. I've not let up. I'm still walking and squeezing all the way. So what happens a lot of the time when people do this choke is when they roll over the pressure, they release the pressure. So then they try and readjust and then walk and it doesn't work, all right? So they're like, oh, this is shit, it doesn't work. When, when realistically, they need to be keeping the pressure from the build up here, right from here, yeah? So I switch. So as soon as I've got this point here, and I've dipped my head, I'm already squeezing, there's already pressure. I drop, I roll, I walk. Like I said, I can grab the arms and squeeze it for one. 